Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 8-6 from R.C. Hepaler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have the 180 albumen that climbs up the ladder and stops at the position shown after he senses that a ladder is on the verge of slipping. We have to determine the coefficient of static friction between the friction pad at A and ground if the inclination of the ladder is 60 degrees and the wall at B is smooth. The center of gravity for the man is at point G. We have to neglect the weight of the ladder. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw all the support reactions and the known forces. Since the wall is smooth, so I just have a normal reaction at point B and I have the weight of this man acting through the point G. Also I have a normal force at point A and I have a frictional force as well at the point A. But what should be the direction of the frictional force? Should it be towards the wall or away from the wall? So we can sense that if the ladder falls, then the ladder will move away from the wall. This will be the direction of motion of the ladder. So the frictional force will act opposite to the direction of the relative motion. So the frictional force will be directed towards the wall. Let's label them. So let's call this NB. This right here is NA. This is, let's call this FA and this is 180 LB, weight of the man. Now to begin our solution, we have to consider a condition that is since the ladder is on the verge of slipping, Then the frictional force Fa is equal to mu s times Na, which is the maximum value of the static friction. Also called the limiting friction. So we have to consider this condition. So now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have Na minus 180 LB equals to zero. So from here Na comes out to be 180 LB. But to find the coefficient of static friction, we have to find the Fa as well. For that, we are going to use another equilibrium equation, which is summation of moments at point B equals to zero. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of the NB force is passing through the point B, so it does not have any moment arm with respect to the point B. So the NB will not produce any moment about point B. This 180 LB force which has a line of action, let me extend it. This 180 LB force is trying to rotate the ladder in clockwise direction about point B. So the moment produced by this 180 LB force will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is this three feet distance. Fa is trying to rotate the ladder in clockwise direction about point B. So the moment produced by this Fa force will be taken as negative as well. So negative Fa. And for the moment arm, the moment arm is this perpendicular distance. Let me draw it. This is the moment arm for the Fa force which we can calculate easily by using the trigonometry. 
So if I have this triangle, let me draw it separately. This is tan fit and this is the theta and theta is given as 60 degrees. And I have to find this distance. Let's call, th let's call this y, which is same as this distance. So y would be 10 sine theta and theta is 60 degrees. Now this NA force is trying to rotate the ladder in counterclockwise direction about point B. So the moment produced by this NA force will be taken as positive. And the moment arm for this NA force is this perpendicular distance. Which is actually the base of the triangle. Let's call this X which is same as this distance. So that would be 10 cos theta and theta is 60 degrees equals to 0. So when I substitute the values, I have negative 180 times 3 minus Fa into 10 sine 60 degrees plus Na which is 180 LBs into 10 cos 60 equals to 0. So when I simplify it, Fa comes out to be 41.57 LBs. And now we can use this equation to find the value of coefficient of static friction. So the coefficient of static friction is Fa upon Na. So 41.57 divided by 180 equals to so the coefficient of the static friction comes out to be 0 0.231 so this is our answer to learn more about Hebeler friction problems check out this video thank you